This is we're doing some year three division and the best way that I found to do this is by knowing that division is the inverse of multiplication which means it's the opposite operation, it's the opposing operation that you do. So if you know your times tables well you've got very little to do by way of working out what the division questions are going to be. So we'll start with if we remember, we have to know our threes, our fours, and our eight times tables when we are in year three. So what I would encourage the children to do is to write out the times table for whichever question that they are going to require. Because I'm going to do 21 divided by three. So that means I need the three times table which is why I'm in the process of just jotting this down. And this repetition of writing it out and seeing it written in front of you really, really does help get into the children's head what the times tables are much quicker. And I'll just leave it there for the moment. So I need to find Three times something is going to give me an answer of 21. So I look down my three times table until I find an answer of 21. And I can see that three times seven equals 21. So therefore, 21 divided by three must be seven. All we've done is change the order of that calculation. That could be written in another way as well. We could write it as seven times three equals 21. We could also reorder this part and say that 21 divided by seven equals three as well. So that are, that's four number sentences generated from the same fact. These are some of the vocabulary involved so that the children know and share equally is another way that we can do it by physically drawing it out. So we're going to look at that now. So if I was still to use the example of 21 divided by 3, that means I've got 21 objects that I would like to divide into three separate groups. So the children often like to do some little circles for their groups three groups and basically I'm just putting in a dot each time until I get up to 21. So, so far that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 dots have now been shared equally among the three groups and what I need to do is just check how many there are in that group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is the same answer that we got when we originally solved it up here using the inverse of multiplication in order to find it. Now, drawing it practically like this works for numbers that are small like these but when you get up to the higher numbers, it's not really going to be possible to draw it out, which is when your times table knowledge and being able to alter the calculations accordingly to make them into division by swapping them round, that's when that is very beneficial.